did this my eighth grade summer uh my parents were going through a divorce and uh going through it i mean they divorced quickly there was yeah. no real going, going through it they just they parted <laughs> they made a conscious effort this is over yeah and so i ended up spending even more time with my dad because my mom split i just i happened to grow up next door to my dad's parents so my grandparents were next door <clears throat> they literally raised me all through high school and so i went out that summer with my dad and I could play, you know, I could read the charts so I could kind of make my way. And I was getting better at it, getting good at it. And I think it was Baytown, Texas, Bay City. I cannot remember exactly. But back then, talking, you know, early 70s, 73 or so, all nice hotels had a lounge and a lot of live music back in that day. You know, they'd have a – my dad was old school. He would do impersonations. He'd do a floor show. And so I'd come up and do a little thing. So one particular night, he was there for maybe a week or two at a time. He had a young bass player who got overserved that night. <laughs> then he got angry and I guess mad at my dad or jealous or whatever. And so he picked a fight with my dad. And this young guy took a chair. Like, I'm like 13, I guess. You know, he took a chair, threw it at my dad, and my dad ducked and it went through the lobby window of the of the hotel lobby of where we were Holy and broke shit. the window out so needless <laughs> to say the cops came <laughs> arrested wow. the bass player the next morning we went to the jail i'd never been in a jail thank goodness you at 13 and there was the bass player hung over hair all messed up you know peering out between the bars of his jail cell and we took him his suitcase all of his stuff i think his mom was coming to get him or something but the next night, I had the gig because <laughs> the guy was in jail and lost his job, so I was in. So I played the whole summer with my dad at 13 and thought in my mind, you know, I'm in the band. Of course, when my freshman year of high school started, uh, my dad let me know that's not the case, but I was heartbroken. I thought, you know, I did a good job. I, when I was 13, I looked like I was about 10 or 9. I was small and skinny <laughs> and very youthful. Yeah. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, I got, I got in and I had a lot of unusual experiences because of it early on. I mean, this sounds like almost famous, right? I mean, from another perspective, <laughs> but like, you know, yeah. this is, that's, uh, that's crazy. So you like, okay, kid throws a, a chair through the window. You think, okay, this is all I got to do to stay in a band. Just don't throw <laughs> chairs through windows. This right. is, I can do this. <laughs> Note to self. Note yeah. to self. I love it. 